Hello, everybody. How you doing this morning? Good morning. Um, little delay trying to figure out this live stream thing because I've never done it before, and especially on my computer. Um, but I'm looking forward to our time together for our, during our Sunday school hour, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and that's this morning. Hey, Liz. Good to see you there. Yeah, wave at people. Hey, Hannah. Hannah's there. Hi, little family. <laughs> hey, Miss Sonia and whoever else is there, the Batemans, maybe. Sorry, I walked away. Hey, this is different. Yes. So different. Hey, y'all, I'm actually at Sunday school. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are uh, able to watch this morning. Um, I'm sure we'll have a few more come in in a few minutes. Um, but I, I, like I said, I'm glad that you're here to be a part for Sunday school. I do miss being with you guys to be able to see, really see you face to face. As I was telling the school kids this week, so I miss you um, being able to interact on more of a personal level. But I guess for right now, this is what we have to do. And we're going to enjoy it. We're going to have some fun and bear with me with some things as we go through this and by the time we I get this figured out down pat will be time to get back into Sunday school extra classroom but I'm looking forward to what the Lord has for us today for these few minutes that we uh that we do have together um let's see nobody else is on there yet but it's all right let's keep going we got six people six people is great <laughs> um seven as we get started and we still wait just uh, for some more people, um, if you would like to, you're going to get. Um, if you have any prayer requests or anything this morning you, that's weighing on your heart, I'd like to share for us, and we'll be praying for you about, uh, you can send those in, and we'll look at those um, through this feed and also afterwards, so we know how to pray for you a little bit better. Um, I know a lot of people are staying at home. I know the. This virus is a big thing, praying for those that have been sick and, and, and then also those who are in the fields, just trying to keep them safe. But, uh, anybody... Sorry, y'all, I keep getting up because I'm just watching the feed on my phone, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm distracted, y'all. Anyway. But, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is neat, though. It's different. Hey, Lydia. Seen all the alerts, comment the comments and the bubbles. It'll be different to actually see that in real life. You know, you're sitting up here teaching and preaching, and then, amen or heart, 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 thumbs up. I know something like that. <laughs> hey, Abby. She is watching. Hey. She is. Hey there. Please <laughs> share the video if you can. Um, share it, share it, share it. I want to reach more people. Mhm. Mm yes, and share the with the world our very first live video together. <laughs> At least for a few minutes, anyways. This is different. Mhm. Mm our baby just sneezed. We're gonna bring her on. I'm gonna see if I can get her, and she won't fuss. That way, y'all can see her this morning. Yeah. Right now, she's in a pretty good mood. Kind of tired in a way, but so maybe she'll. Won't be fussy too much. She was in the video yesterday, if you didn't see that. Um, hey. We were outside. You were probably wondering what she was staring at. She was staring at our dogs. We were feeding the dogs, and she just, like, glued to them. <laughs> what are they doing? They're eating. Want to see everybody this so. morning? Praise. Kenny Baldwin got out of the hospital. Oh, that is a praise. Oh, that is praise. Here's baby. Oh, we have ten people on. That's so awesome. Hey, Mr. Tucker. How are you? <laughs> There's baby girl. Hey, hey Cardi. Hey, hey see? everybody. Look. look. Tell him hey. You like the phone. <laughs> She's getting so big. Oh, we have 11 viewers. This is awesome. We have 11 viewers. She's getting so big, y'all. She might not stand up for me, but she's a little sleepy. But Say hey to everybody. Yeah. She's getting to be a big girl. 
But for those of you who just joined on, if you have any prayer requests um, you'd like to mention, um, we'll be taking those and be praying for them through this time. <laughs> just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> yes. Why am I on the table? How are y'all doing this morning? Y'all doing okay? Everybody hanging in there? Enjoying time home, right? I know I've been getting messages this week hey, with my Gabby. classes. Hey, Gabby! How are you doing? Hey, Gabby. Welcome to our video, our Sunday school video. This is so different, but it's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, this is really different. This is neat, though. Get to see, see and hear from people. We don't really get to do that very much. Oh, no. Hey, Dad or Mom, whoever, or both. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Where's Grace? She better not she be watching? sleeping. She might be watching on their phone too. Okay, if y'all don't have any prayer requests, does anybody have it? Yeah, any any prayer requests? Same type. I hear. She oh, she's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the wrong here, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm not judging. I can't. Well, if you it. can hear us, that's a good thing, because it means it's working. Yeah. Can you hear the swing in the background playing music? Can y'all hear that? If you can, I'll go turn it off. Ah. Let me know if you can hear that swing, because I'm gonna go turn it off. I Are feel we... like it's kind of loud. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay. Let me go turn it off. Here. Here hold her. Hey. We see the people. Well, actually, we can just see us right now. Say, hey, Carly. Say, okay. I'm almost five months old now. I'm a big girl. Okay. All right. I turned it off. <laughs> like, giving y'all extra um, music this morning. Thanks. Yeah. She might get fussy. I may have to step away. Hopefully, I yeah. don't. All right. What's uh, doing? What's that? You see Daddy on there? Mm. Hey, Miss Hudson. How are you? I do want to let you guys know that next week, um, probably Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll be going live with our church page, doing devotions. I'm not sure what time yet. I'm all depends, um, but I'll I'll give everybody a heads up through my Facebook and probably even through our youth group page. So if you want to watch those, um, they'll be brief, um, little devotions and just hopefully words of encouragement for you. Um, I know this time you look at the world and everybody's going crazy, panicking about this virus, but we as Christians need to keep one another encouraged. And I hope you, even just for the few minutes that we'll have um, these days that there'll be an encouragement to you. And obviously feel free to share those. And to get them out, and I know a lot of people are doing those, and to me, they're a blessing to watch, um, to see those um, different people that you normally wouldn't get to see due, due to our busy schedules and stuff like that, but just letting you know, so you can pray for me, and as I give the devotions, and also work with this Facebook Live and stuff, because again, I'm not very familiar with it, but I know after a few tries, we'll get it down pat, but um, I'm looking forward to that, so please pray for me with that, do those this week. Hey, Miss Lisa, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. She just spit her passy out. <laughs> it's good to see, see you, Miss Lisa. Hear from you. Can I turn this on? Whatever, you're in charge. All right. All right, um, <laughs> right now, we're um. While we're we're gonna sing a song, we'll qu sing for you guys. We're gonna try to make we're gonna make a joyful noise for the Lord. Um, we're gonna sing a quick song. Carly may just stare at us, but um, if you again, if you have any prayer requests, if you're just tuning in, please send those in. Um, we're gonna um, sing a song, go through this twice, and then if there's any announcements, I can't think of anything right now. We'll let you know. But yes, and I hear Frozen. <laughs> ah, yes, that's Carly's. One of her favorite movies. She was watching that to calm herself down. She's addicted to that. I need to turn that down. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll turn it down. Okay, I'm going right. to go turn it down since you can hear that. <laughs> All right, so when she gets back, we'll, um, we're going to sing a song for you guys. And then we'll go to, and then we'll get ready to open our Bibles for a lesson this morning. It'll be brief. And um, so, again, that will be an encouragement to you as well. And uh, we've been trying to practice and play some different songs. I like to do that at least for Sundays. And um, we're going to pray that this goes We have well. other music, but we have to prepare. I like, I have to prepare for stuff. So we'll have other music, but the teen should be used to this. Yeah, it should be. Um, <clears throat> You're going to sing with me, right? You're not going to get <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be singing. If you can hear me, great. If not, if not, it'd just be a solo. We're gonna. We're have fun. Like I said, we're making a joyful noise, and um, I hope this is a blessing. We're gonna sing Sanctuary, and if you want to sing it at home, that's great too. Just let us know. We're we'll singing through it twice, and maybe uh, I can hear you through the sing- song maybe. through the through the live feed. Yeah. All right. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me. Um, I'm kind of in the mood to sing one more, y'all. I, I love you, Lord. It's an easier one. Lord, you are. I don't know that one. Uh, I mean, we could do I love you, Lord. You know that one? We'll try it. I'll try that one. Uh, I know it. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Miss Tracy. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I'll have to sing another song. Sing another song. <laughs> this one may not be as good. <laughs> Sorry. I love you, Lord. Here we go. y'all sorry <laughs> so he's singing faster than i'm singing anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right good morning are you having a good morning tracy hey melissa welcome to our music here's session. baby girl y'all for those of you who haven't seen her yet there she is she's kind of wondering what's going on yeah she just anyway well, last night we were trying to practice and singing stuff, and she was just going crazy. Carly was... Whoop, burp. <laughs> she burped. Oh, uh, if y'all heard, hear, heard that, give a laugh. It's a little project. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah, I gotta go clean up. <laughs> all right. I guess that's a good point to know that we are um, segueing into um, <laughs> our, les- our lesson this morning. Um, but yeah, she was having fun last night with us singing and playing and jumping out of her little bouncy seat. But, um, again, thank <laughs> Pretty true to how that song usually <laughs> Yeah, that is true. We have fun with it and teens. Working on other songs. These are just easier songs to play for right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, really one announcement would be that I am doing the live videos this week. Um, on, we're on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I've been trying to talk with my dad and 
Brother Bateman about different things, how we're going to do the schedule. And I'm looking forward to those. And again, I miss being there with you guys and um, hope to get back together with you soon. All right, um, this time we're just going to look at a, a couple things this morning, but we're going to look at one verse. If you do have your Bibles, we're going to look at one verse this morning. We're going to talk about it and then kind of go through some things. It is Psalm 68. Psalm 68. Um, Plug in. If you're tuning in, share it if you can share it to reach more people. Go ahead. Yes, do that. <laughs> um, Psalm 68, and we're going to look at verse number 19. Um, as I was just trying to study for some things, and obviously with this the virus and everything, just trying to focus myself better toward the Lord. And I've been talking to my wife about it because I want my life to be better, our marriage and all these things. And, you know, the Lord is bringing some verses to my memory. And on Psalm 68, verse number 19, the Bible says, um, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. And as I think of that verse and I, a lot of times, at least in college, I think about the Lord who loads us with benefits. Like, what is benefits? Well, you think of it, and it's uh, a blessings. You know, God has blessed us tremendously in our lives. Um, as We could take time to go through everybody on this feed to think of at least one thing that the Lord has blessed us with. And I'm thankful that He gives them to us. And especially during this time where we're not sure what's happening, um, I know some people may have got laid off work or the hours cut or just can't go out and do things. And, and at times to be kind of sad, like, man, I want to do stuff, but can't do it. You know, the Lord gives us things um, every day, blessings that we can uh, look to. And I'm so, so thankful for that. So even when you get down and discouraged, we can always look to the Lord's blessings. And I know last week... Um, the last service, hard to think of, with meeting together with our teens, we talked about um, what we can do during times of uncertainty. And one of them was prayer. That's huge. And we all can do that. Um, a, a huge tool that we, we as Christians have access to every day. And um, well, this week, we're looking at blessings. Now, we have blessings. And we can look to those, or as I like the this, this song, counting our blessings. Um, for that. So when we get down, get discouraged, we can look at our blessings and count them, name them one by one. You know, and really as we look at this these ver this verse and some other things, how, um, to understand what, what are blessings. I mean, we hear it all the time, man, you're, you're blessed. I mean, you have a lot of blessings in your life. But what, what does that mean? And uh, so I did some study here. And if you're taking notes, you can uh, mark some things down. The first thing with a blessing, we see that blessings are giving are given to us, given to the believers. Now, we as Christians, God has blessed us, gives us these blessings. Um, and we saw that in Psalm 68, verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits. Um, the, the, us, he is our, it says there, our God of our salvation. And he blesses us with blessings daily. Isn't that awesome? Every day we, we can get a blessing. You know, blessings are given to the believer. We see, if you like to look at James chapter 1. I love James chapter number one. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great chapter. And then this verse, I mean, it really just sticks out um, to us. Here, let me turn to that. I know I have it in my notes, but I want to look at it here. James 1 verse 17, the Bible says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither a shadow of turning. You know, God has given us blessings. They're good gifts. They're perfect gifts. And I don't know about you, but I love gifts. You know, talking to some of the teenagers, um, you know, you love, love getting gifts. Maybe it's for your birthday. Spit up on the iPad. Awesome. Um, you get gifts for your birthday or for Christmas. Man, we, we love them. We, we, when we get them, we're excited. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa. Oh, I got a gift. And you can open it and you get to play with it or use it, whatever it is. We you know God gives us gifts just like that. You know, they're not always uh, tangible things, things we can hold, but we get them. And uh, it says they're gifts from the Father. I mean, my dad is a huge blessing to me, and I love that the older I've gotten, I got a lot closer to him. And I love it when, he get, when I got gifts growing up from him. Maybe it's a tool, a gun, whatever it is, I don't know. Things that, I love those things. You know, God gives us blessings, and we can love those things too. Um, and you know what? It's even better. They're gifts, but they're daily gifts. Every day. 
It's like your birthday every single day. It says, and daily loadeth us with benefits. Man, I love gifts. I, I wish somebody would send me a present every day, right? <laughs> um, but I know the Lord does that. And um, we get them. We see that in Psalm 68, 19. Daily loadeth us with benefits. You know, we are getting blessings. We are getting gifts every single day. And that's what blessings are. And, you know, as we get even down and discouraged or, you know what? God has given us a gift. And what is that gift? And we can look at those. So we get them every day. So, you know, we get so busy through our days. Do we even notice them? It's like going to waking up Christmas morning. And, you know, the tree is full of gifts. And um, not even looking at the tree, not even noticing the gifts. We can get so busy. You know, God's given to them. Let's notice those gifts and be thankful for them. Whether it is maybe a financial gift. Maybe it is just a word of encouragement. Maybe it's a note or an actual gift. You know, but God has given us those. And these blessings, they're for us, for our believers. But not only are blessings are given to us for believers, but also... Blessing, blessings are given to encourage us. Um, I don't know about you, but I like to be encouraged. Um, but it's good to know. It's like, hey, man, praying for you. It's good to see you. Um, how are you doing? Like, but it's sincere how are you doing. You know, they are, they are given to strengthen us. If you like to turn again in your Bibles to Psalm 27. Psalm 27. We're going to look at a couple verses here. Psalm 27. I'll, this is a, I'm great, too. I love this. This is Psalm 27, verse 13 and 14. This is a psalm of David here. He writes, he says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know, the Lord has given these blessings to us to help us, to encourage us, to strengthen us. You know, David here in verse 13 says, I'd faint, I had fainted unless I, said, uh, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, he said he was so discouraged. He's like, you know, I was about to faint. I was about to go away. just to... And then he saw the goodness of the Lord. That strengthened his heart. And then, he, then that's where he goes on to verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And that's what the blessing is for. He gives them to us. So we can, like, oh, wow, God's been so good. Let's focus on Him and what He's done for us instead of, oh, man, this is a huge problem. This is an, I'm scared, I'm worried, I'm fearful. And he doesn't want us to do that because the Bible says He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So He gives us these blessings so we can keep going for Christ. And we live in this, in this day and age now. We, there's not a whole lot we can do. We cannot meet together at church due to the this virus and the restrictions and things like that. But we can keep going because God's given us blessings. He's given us these gifts that we can share to other people to help keep them going, keep being faithful. So when the when we come back, when we get back into church, get back into assembling together, man, it's going to be a great time because God worked in our hearts so much and then He's going to bless our furtherance of the gospel there and in our church. So blessings are given to the believers. Their blessings are given to encourage us but we also see a third thing. Why, why are blessings? What are they? Well, blessings are given so God can be praised. And that's what David said there in Psalm 27. But also, let's look at um, Psalm 107. Psalm 107. Psalm 107. I may have to turn this thing on. I don't want to be a distraction. But... Okay. Baby's getting kind of fussy. Trying to go to sleep. So if you hear the music, hopefully it won't be too big of a distraction. Psalm 107, verse 8 and 9. It says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. No, God gave us blessing. God gives us blessings daily so he can be praised. And even in this psalm here, the psalmist says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Hasn't God been good? You know, I'm thankful to be alive right now. Thankful to be home with my family. Um, to be in church, in a sense, and to be with you guys. Um, this is fun. And we can be together around the Word of God. And 
that's a blessing. That's a praise that we can give to him. So, oh, that men the praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy of that. We must thank him for these things. It's like getting getting a gift and not saying thank you. I'm very blessed for parents that taught me to say thank you. Um, and one day when, when Carly gets older and understands it, I'm going to teach her to say thank you. Because thank you goes a long way. Um, even in um, passing people around in stores and stuff, just saying thank you kind of catches them off guard because they're so used to people not. You know, we need to tell the Lord thank you. God, thank you for allowing me to live today. Thank you for allowing me to be with my family. Thank you for allowing me be able to see these believers. You know, thank Him for these things. So do you thank Him for your blessings? You know, I'm guilty time and time again for not being thankful. Um, just of the blessings that He's given me because we get so busy, so distracted. So let's thank Him for our blessings. You know, so what has God blessed you with recently? As we just sit here and think a minute, what has God blessed you with? You know, I... I was trying to take the time with, to think of some different things of what the Lord's blessed me with. And honestly, if we went through all the people on here, we'd be here for hours. And then uh, we don't have necessarily the time to do that at the moment. But what does God bless you with? Well, I wrote some things down, and again, the list could be longer. I'm very thankful for my salvation. You know, I, I don't deserve it. I'm very blessed being the family that I was raised in, but being saved at the age of five. And in 2001, so almost uh, 19 years ago, which is a long, long time, yeah, to think about for my salvation. I'm thankful for my wife. You know, Jen is a blessing, an encouragement. Um, she pushes me to do right um, to help and help me with his videos and stuff because I was because it wouldn't work on my computer and I got to work on my phone. But she does a lot for me and my family taking care of Carly. That is just a blessing. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for Carly. Oh my goodness. Like we've had her almost five months now and it's amazing. God is what's put in her to uh, be a dad. Uh, for that, just for my family. Thank you for all my family that is watching this morning. I am. I couldn't ask for a better family. I know my family's not perfect, but I love them. I'm thankful for Jenna's family. Um the for all they do for us. Man, it's amazing. Honestly, for our church, I miss miss you all. And I'm thankful that church, we don't have to worry about church is a building. Church is a group of people, a body of believers. And I'm thankful for you are, for being a body of that. And then be able to invent a job, just a place to be able to work. And be able to provide for my family, my wife, my daughter. That, and then a home to live in. Uh, we live in a single wide trailer. I honestly look at it, it's not very much. But thankful for that place to be able to live, a shelter. That we can sleep, and uh, you know what? One day we'll maybe move and go somewhere else and have a nicer place. I don't know, but I'm thankful for what we have right now. So those are, those are just a few things. But what does God bless you with? Just think about it as you go throughout the day, and as um, you get ready to close here in a few minutes, and you prepare to watch another service this morning. Just think about it. What does God bless you with? And, you know, once you start doing that. You're going to be encouraged. You're going to be uplifted. Like, oh man, you know what? I could be in a whole lot worse situation. And I do believe I'm speaking to believers this morning. But one thing, as I said, with salvation, we the thought of we don't have to die and go to hell. We don't have to. <laughs> and to me, that's like, oh, praise the Lord. I'm thankful that I'm saved. I don't have to do that. So at the very least today, say, we're blessed with the gift of salvation. And I do pray maybe there's somebody that will watch this video Today, tomorrow, next week, next month, I don't know when. But if you don't know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, that you get that settled today before it's eternally too late. Because maybe see you, you may end up with this virus. What would happen if you died? Do you know if you're going to heaven or not? Because the Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You can get that gift of salvation, that free gift, that blessing, and then your eternal, eternal destiny will be changed. Passed from death into life. Because the Bible also says in Romans, For whosoever, that's anybody, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Shall be saved. And that is a blessing. That is a promise. That's guaranteed. So we have a lot of things to be thankful for. A lot of blessings that we have been given. 
And as we go throughout this week, I hope you stop and think about it and count your blessings. You start counting your blessings and you're going to see the, the minutes fly by because we have plenty to be thankful for and plenty of blessings um, to really stop and think about. Well, again, I thank you for being here this morning. Uh, it's a little different and um, I, I'm truly blessed to see the few that have watched this morning. And again, if you have any questions, um, maybe about salvation or about what we're doing in the upcoming weeks, please feel free to let me know. Um, you can message me on my Facebook page or through this or this page. And uh, I love to talk to you. And um, I, I, it's just a blessing to see from you guys today. Well, this time I'm going to pray. And uh, what else we can do is to give it all to the Lord and to work in our hearts today through on this Lord's Day and this Sunday. Let's pray. Lord, I do love you. I thank you for your word. Uh, thank you for those that are tuned in today. Lord, as we get to talk about our blessings, that we can count them, that you've given to us. God, you've been good to us. And we can spend hours upon hours talking about things you've done for us. Lord, be with those today that are at their homes and you're ready to watch the services and things, that you would bless them, keep them safe, or continue to provide for their families. Lord, use them in a great way. Lord, that you be honored and glorified through our lives in this time where we have to limit where we go and limit what we do. Lord, continue to work in our lives. Be with us this day. And Lord, we love you. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for that gift of salvation. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for um, tuning in to our Ford Youth Group Sunday School Hour this morning. And I'm so glad that you got to watch next week, same time, same place. And I um, hope you can watch and share it. Share this video also to get people to watch it and let us know. Um, let me see some comments and things like that. But um, please join in for that. And also through the devotions throughout the week because I'm, I'm going to be giving some. I believe Brother Bateman's doing some. My dad may be. Hopefully I get him to do that. Um, so please be on watch on our Heritage Baptist Church page as well. That's what that's where they those will be. And then I hope you enjoy your day. It's good seeing you guys. Love y'all. Praying for you. If you have anything, any questions, please let us know. Have a great day. Bye y'all. Bye.